Hey, what's going on guys? So I have thought of an idea. What if I try to put Linux on this 2006 MacBook? Plug it in and turn it on. The MacBook is running 10.7 Lion. Now, OS 10.7 is very, very much outdated and it's not getting any kind of app support at all. Which is why I want to take this old machine and put some new life into it by installing Ubuntu Linux. So without further ado, let's shut it down, close it up, go to the big screen. We're gonna download this, and there it is up here. I'll come back when it's done. While we wait for that, we're actually gonna put the drive that we're installing Linux in inside the MacBook. Turn over the MacBook, pull the drive out, put the new drive in. There we go. Flip it over. And now we wait for the Ubuntu install to finish downloading. And then we're gonna put it on the flash drive and then install it on the MacBook. The installer has finished, so now we're going to go to this program called Belena Etcher. It's basically a program that creates a bootable USB. So we're gonna flash from file, select that, select target, yep, the flash drive that's inserted, flash, yep, and now we let it do its thing. All right, it's completed. So now we're gonna put it in the MacBook. Open this up, click power, hold down option, the white screen with the mouse pointer, that's what we want to see. Now we take the flash drive and put it in the MacBook. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I don't think I did this right. Uh. So I had to look up what version of Linux actually supported my year of MacBook, which is a 2006. Someone said that Linux Mint LMDE edition would work better on older devices, and it has 32-bit processor support. So I'm downloading this, we're gonna see how well it works, and if this doesn't work then I don't know what to do, I probably will just give up. It's been like an hour I wanna say. Let's try this again. Flash from file, give me that one. Give me this, plug in the USB stick, this, select, flash, yes. All right, now this flash is complete. Now we're gonna exit this. We're gonna eject the drive, go back to the MacBook, open it up, turn it on, hold down option, see the mouse cursor, insert the USB, yes. Yes, yes. We are booting into Linux Mint. Wow, look at this, this is actually working. That's crazy. All right, we're making progress. Whoa, arrow. Whoa, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and install Linux Mint. There we go, let's go. English, United States. Yes, next. America, no. No, not New York. Los Angeles. Yes. Ah, 24 hour time. Love it. Yes, US keyboard layout. Your name. Hey. Oh, crap. Enzo. Pick a username. Yeah, that's fine. My computer's name. The Goober Machine. Yes. Let's not require a password. Let's just log in automatically. Can I not have spaces? I probably can't have spaces. There we go. Okay, I have to have a password. <laughs> uh, fine, I'll just use spacebar like I always do. If I don't want a password, disk. Toshiba, yes, the 160 gigabyte drive. Yes, delete all the data, there's literally nothing on here. This was a Windows 7 starter disk, but uh, I erased it. And now there's nothing on here. And now we're installing Linux Mint onto this MacBook.
installation finished. All right. That only took like 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. You want to restart your computer to use the new system? Yes. Yes, I do. The system will reboot now. All right. Very good. Very good start. Ah, welcome to Linux Mint, your new operating system. We'll guide you through your first steps, uh, how to find help and where to get information about Linux Mint. Ah, we don't need a tour, but we will do something else. We will connect to the internet. I think this is the internet. Yes, it is. Are we on the internet? Connecting to the wireless network. All right, it's taking a while. Connection failed. Okay, we're having problems now. Oh boy, we're starting issues. Connection failed again. All right, disconnect. Oh, something's not going right here. Let's turn this off. Let's turn this back on. Did I not type it correctly? Is that what's going on? Okay, we're trying this again. It's trying. It's definitely trying. Uh, all right, all right. Well, I think internet is not gonna be working on this machine. Which sucks, but I guess that's just how it's gonna go. Oh well, we tried. We got Linux on here. Is there stuff I can do on here? Is there like, uh, games or anything? Is it like Windows? <laughs> all applications, let's see. Oh. Oh, whoa, lag, a lot of lag. Okay, please, please stop showing me that. <laughs> uh, all applications. Wow, that's laggy, okay. Rider, is that like uh, Microsoft Word or something? Is that Linux's version of Microsoft Word? Oh, wow. If we can type the word goober, that's all that matters to me. Did you know? I did not know. Please do not tell me anything ever again. If we can type a goober, there we go. I thank you all for watching this video. This video kind of ended so abruptly because I can't get the internet working. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, make sure to leave a like, maybe even subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video.